So this next one is going to have kind of a, uh, a soul feel to it, uh, uh, you know, soul R&B feel. And the changes are going from C to, uh, to, uh, to like a kind of G sus. So just a one five, one five. And then uh, the turnaround is going to be a F major, G major, A minor, and then D7, then back to F, and then back to the five. And, uh, and then back to the one. And uh, you're going to hear that there's a Wurlitzer in there and an organ, and we're going to fit a guitar part in there using our triads and, uh, and, and some seconds like we've been looking at. And uh, I'll see what I come up with, and then I'll break it down. So what we're looking at here, what I was doing on the, on the C chord, with a just C triad, here's a huge big C bar chord. Just breaking out those top three notes, and then getting this motion going up to the, uh, a D minor triad against the C, and then that's you know getting a fourth and a six and a nine. Hear that sound? And then uh, on the G, you know, flat seven, and uh, uh, just a minor triad again. That's against this. So flat seven and nine in the fifth, and then that's going up a whole step to the E minor triad, and you got the the root the third of the chord and and the 13 um, so on the one on the five and you might say well why did you choose to go as opposed to which would be a good question so let me explain that so what uh, listen to the theme here that I set up as opposed to so the reason I wouldn't go for it that motion in setting up that theme is the fact that you have all these notes are moving so why not when it goes to the five chord keep all the notes moving and then that way you still have that structure of that uh, uh, the harmonic movement that adds to part of the theme of what it is you're playing so it still would be very different to be and then all of a sudden now just switch to a static uh, see the difference as opposed to So these are the things that I'm thinking about in coming up with a part uh, in, in, in this way. And then when it goes to the F, nothing fancy, just playing an F major triad. When it's going to the G, nothing fancy, just a G major triad. And then for the D7, uh, I mean for the A minor, uh, nothing fancy again just the A minor triad starting on the, on the fifth and then for the D7 the, the first time around uh, I just shifted this voicing down and to keep to, 
to, to have uh, some voice leaning there, you know, with a common tone to keep that C there. Uh, well, listen. And then to the D chord for the D7. So you can get it, hear how. So, you know, a common D7 bar chord shape. Uh, here here at the fifth fret would be here so now you can see where those notes are coming from uh, the flat seven now is going up to to the root and then and this uh, and and the and the and it's going moving to the root and then we're shifting to getting the flat seven up an octave so switching from the a minor to the to the D7 and then the second time around uh, what I did with the with the the a minor to D uh, change is this which I think was uh, which I really enjoyed I think and 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 I think you'll find it cool too so watch this and then switching to the D keeping that same minor triad shape over the D, watch what you have here. An A minor triad. And then over the D, you got the nine, the fifth, and the flat seven. And then sliding it up. Then you get in the third and the sixth and the one with that same voicing. So, and then I, I added this rhythm to it. And then back down to the to just a F to the G. All right. So rhythmically, um, what I was listening for was you know the the Wurlitzer is is pretty much I think you know playing on the one you know just padding out the changes and the organ is floating on top. So I thought that'd be cool to create a rhythmic theme on top of it, and it's one da da. Baka ba 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 da ba da da ba one da 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 da. And again, you know, it's important to, you know, firstly start off with internalizing the rhythm that you're going for. And the articulation here, I, I would explain with all these kind of rhythm parts, the dynamics of your playing and the articulation, uh, when I, you know, of the dynamics and the cutoffs are extremely critical. So in this case, it's a e yacht is the is the feeling that you're trying to get so you're like, yeah, and then you're sitting in and dive into the d And what you can hear here is the dynamic of the way I'm playing it is is a is a softer, louder. Yeah. That not this. That's a very different feel then. Oh, that's, so it's, again, that's something that's very subtle. And you can, you know, find, you know, your feeling in there of how you might like to do it. Maybe you're, you like with enjoy with this kind of. That could be one way to do it. For me, however, I, I was enjoying that kind of that 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 kind of hump in the you know the dynamic flow of. So again, so what's happening here is when that move is happening, that's where those sixteenth notes are. So again, here we're, it's all about those rhythms. It's important to that when you're picking up those two sixteenth notes on that and that when you land back on that downbeat, that you're right there, you know, in that groove. I 
Okay, and then for going down to the F, again, you hear that? It's a it's an open. It's a long and a short. Long short. And the dynamic of it. I'm not doing this. You know, if I were, then that wouldn't give that accent to those to the to the downbeat in that way. And then and even those sixteenths leading into the beat, because uh, you know I'm, I'm wanting to, you know, uh, to emphasize those downbeats. At any tempo. Uh. And um, so again, this rhythmic consistency, you see I'm sitting, setting up these rhythmic phrases. I'm not going... You know, that would be out of context. You know, we've set this up all right. So we're you know we're feeling those those backbeats. So that would be the the theme of that rhythm that I'm you know setting up within this track. That you want to you know keep the 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 feel the same. Um. And uh, one other thing to keep in mind when you're doing, you know, when you're playing on these upper three strings, uh, to be very aware of is making sure that, that, that you're getting all your muting in so you're not ending up with, with getting anything else, you know, ringing. Um, uh, so you got to find some ways to m always make sure that the rest of the, the notes are getting choked so you're not getting any, uh, any overring. So you don't not end up with, you know, that was an extreme example. But, you know, the, to keep it clean, keep it tight, and... Uh, and you'll be on the right path. Have some fun with that one.